In regard to the watermark, there is an issue that OPPO has to work on it. My overall impressions for this company is that the stuff are... If your budget is in between 700 and 800 Swiss franc, and if you're looking for a smartphone with a huge internal memory like Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know, oftentimes smart people retrieve information about a certain product or service that they need and want before buying. And this can be from product reviews, specifications to the price itself. And why these smart people do this is because they want to augment their satisfaction level. Am I making sense? All right, I'm Didi Lejavane. Today, I'm going to review Oppo Find X3 Neo that has been launched in market since March 2021. And this mobile phone is still fresh in Swiss and European markets. And this phone is classified as a flagship killer smartphone among its peers, with a price around 7800 Swiss franc. It has cut camera with 50 megapixels in the main camera. It has a huge capacity to store files such as photos, videos, and it has super quick access to the stored memories. And all this thanks to the 12 gigabytes of random access memories, or namely RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal space. In addition, I will tell you about where I got this mobile phone from and the reason for choosing the provider. So, by watching this video till the end, I assure you that you will be able to make an informed decision. By the way, just a little reminder for those who are watching this video, and haven't subscribed to this channel so I'm pleased to invite you guys to hit this subscribe button and press the bell icon as well so that you won't miss out any new videos when I post them on this channel so let's get started and see what includes in this box when you buy this mobile phone all right okay so you will have the manual instruction that nearly none read it nowadays needle opener for sim card handphone itself and the transparent hardcover which is good because you don't have to buy new one and an adapter plus usb cable and then headset it is not in the jack but it is in a usb type c i personally like how this smartphone is designed it's 16 centimeter length by 7 cm width and 0.799 cm thick not even 1 cm so it's quite thin isn't it the display screen to body is almost 90% of the whole body size so it's very convenient for watching videos playing games reading messages or replying emails and so on the weight is only 184 grams. Volume control key is on the left. Power button or lock unlock key is on the right. So it's simply ergonomic. The screen is AMOLED 90 Hz, meaning that the display images are rendered 90 times per second. So no blurry images while scrolling. It's Corning Gorilla Glass 5 which means that this screen is strong enough to protect it from drops on uh, uh, hard or um, rough surface up to 1.2 meters. And it also uh, protects from the scratch. This Oppo Find X3 Neo is IPX4, meaning that this device is designed to be resistant to water splash. It's meant for dual SIM cards, so if you guys want to have two numbers in the same handphone, then this mobile phone is for you. Two ways of biometric security systems like face unlock and in-screen fingerprint recognition. There are two colors available, starlight black like the one that I have, 
and the Galactic Silva. Talking about hardware and operating system, Oppo Find X3 Neo has 256GB of internal memory, which is huge, yet it is non-expandable, and it also has 12GB um, of random access memory or RAM that allows your access to random memory much faster than its peers uh, that has only 4GB or 8GB uh, of RAM. It's Android 11 with system chip uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 that supports 5G, so it works very fast. Furthermore, the battery is 4500 mAh that can store more energy so that um, the battery life lasts longer uh, for a given usage. What I love to tell you more about this Oppo Find X3 is that it has a super quick charging system. So all this thanks to the latest innovations from Oppo. The USB Type-C Oppo has is reversible, which means that you don't have to find out which side is supposed to be connected to the handphone when you want to charge. The users of Oppo Find X3 Neo claim that the battery can be fully charged within 30 minutes from 0 to 100%. And in my case, it took only about 20 minutes at that time, uh, the battery uh, life was still at 30% and at the same time, I used some applications. So you guys can figure out how rapid, how fast the charging mode uh, when the handphone is in the idle mode. In regard to the hardware, this power adapter, there's a homework that Oppo has to do with it that is making the adapter slimmer because this adapter occupies the other power plugs. Also, wireless charging doesn't apply to this Oppo Find X3 Neo, meaning that whenever you travel, you have to bring the adapter and the cable, either way you can, you can bring um, this power bank so that you can uh, charge your battery whenever it is necessary. And speaking of the camera, Oppo Find X3 Neo has cut camera. What does this mean? This means that this mobile phone has four camera lenses. Four camera lenses. So the main camera is 50 megapixels out of focus with aperture f1.8 and the second lens is 16 megapixels ultra wide with aperture f2.2. Third lens is 13 megapixels telephoto with aperture f2.4 and the fourth lens is 2 megapixels macro with aperture f2.4 As a content creator, I really love this Oppo Find X3 Neo because it offers high resolutions for both uh, making photos or filming and the dual camera makes a perfect vlogging uh, whenever uh, showing my face with uh, front camera and uh, the targeted object with the rear camera. So check this out uh, as an example. Hey guys, I'm just testing this new camera from Oppo Find X3 Neo. Here you, I can use my dual camera first for my from uh, for my face, I mean, and the other. Uh, camera is uh, the rear camera is uh, recording the uh, jetto that you as you can see in this video so it's really cool taking pictures with rear camera turn out beautifully the bokeh is also perfect when you use the feature called portrait in the camera and making video with the rear camera can be set either in ultra high definition or 4k full high definitions or simply high definitions Front camera is 32 megapixels. Making video with front camera is still turning out amazingly. So check this out when I use the front camera to make video. Here. Du Dewey, je suis en train euh, d'attendre ma première vaccination contre Covid-19 et je suis maintenant dans la, dans la salle, ici dans le centre, petit sombre. So what are the features that you can get and enjoy having Oppo Find X3 Neo? Well, 
The Bluetooth 5.2 is way faster than the earlier version like 5.0 or 4.0. Either for pairing to the other devices or transferring the data. But nevertheless, it all depends on how large or big the data that you want to transfer. And then the USB Type-C 2.0, reversible one, allows you to transfer the data to other device at a speed of 60 megabyte per second, which is very rapid. Sharing data using OPPO share option is also convenient. Another feature is the watermark. You can add your preferred watermark to the integrated system. It's like your copyright, so your work cannot be claimed by other people, for instance. I put my stage name on it so that people know it's my work. So I must say that this is another great feature, isn't it? And then you can also set up the date, location to tell you when and where the event took place. So it's very easy to remember. In regard to the watermark, there is an issue that OPPO has to work on it. This watermark can be reversed when the photo or video is taken from front camera. And of course, there are still many features which you can explore by yourself when you have OPPO Find X3 Neo on your hand. Before I wrap it up, I want to tell you about where I got this mobile phone from and the reason for choosing this provider. All right? I bought this mobile phone from UPC Switzerland, a telecommunication provider company. And the reasons for choosing the provider are that first was I'm impressed with their services. For example, I wanted to migrate my current internet provider to the UPC. The UPC staff did all the paperwork for me, so it's quite handy. And also, when I couldn't reach the customer service, they called me back after I left my mobile phone number in their other system called written call for purchase advice. And the second reason is that UPC's offers corresponded to my needs. So guys, I realized that every customer has different experience. And in this video, I'm sharing my personal experience with you concerning the UPC's product and services. So I encourage you to check their website out for more information. And one thing that I would like you to bear in mind is that try to mention my name whenever you want to buy UPC's product and services. All right, my overall impressions for this company is that the staff are very responsive. All right, guys, now let me conclude my review on Oppo Find X3 Neo. So, if your budget is in between 700 and 800 Swiss francs and you are looking for a smartphone with huge internal memory like 256GB and RAM which is 12GB, cut camera with 50 megapixels in the main camera, video already 4K, long life battery with super fast charging time, then I can recommend you buying this handphone all right and the next video will be reviewing this headset oppo onco x the true wireless noise cancelling earphones so you better stay tuned on this channel all right guys i hope that this review is meaningful and don't forget to hit like subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of new videos comments feedback Share this video with your networks are highly appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm Didi Lejavani. See you again. Ciao.